straight. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know who it is. Live from the head. Biggie Smalls. The TV show Gilmore Girls. A delightful holiday that you really needed. And your favourite ever football boots. What do all these things have in common? All good things must come to an end. Today's video though, I'm gonna show you how to get a little bit more life out of boots like these and how to make stuff like this more acceptable. Stick around to see how I turn these bad boys into something stunning, ready to hit the pitch. If you like football content, if you like football boots, please go hit subscribe, become a season ticket holder. Now, I'm gonna get into the meat and potatoes of the video. I'm gonna talk about this special little project. So, my good friend Ryan, over at Boots and Pieces, up in Scotland, how was that guys? Sent me one of his special blackout kits the blackout box. If you don't know Ryan Boots and Pieces some, and you somehow know me, what are you doing? He's massive on TikTok, he's massive on Instagram, he just converted some F50 remakes for Tiago. What a guy. He does all kinds of boot modifications, so blackouts, stud conversions, tongue straps, personalization, he puts your little name and your number on there if you really want. All kinds of services, he's absolutely amazing, he's one of the best out there. He's who I use for all my jobs. There's a few great people, don't get me wrong, but me and Ryan, we're like this, thick as thieves. He's a great lad. And he sent me the blackout box and some laces and some of his special pro studs that he makes himself. Because I've got a special little project that I want to do, showing off his product, my artistic, artistic skills to breathe a little bit more life into a couple of amazing pairs of boots that I'm a huge fan of and I want to show you guys how you can get more life and more aesthetic pleasure out of your old boots. If you want to sell them on you can make extra money by freshening them up. If you want to wear them you can keep them going longer if there's a pair you really love and you're worried about trying to get another pair if you can't find them, if they cost loads of money, whatever. It's one way that you can get a little bit of extra legs out of your old boots. So, I'm gonna crack this box open, show you what's inside, then show you what I'm doing with it. So here we have it, the actual blackout box. Looks lovely, crack it open. What have we got inside? Obviously some instructions for you guys. Here we have step one, which is the primer that you're gonna use. Step two is the dye, and step three is the finish, the gloss. Got your Mrs. Makeup kit in here. Got this little uh, nose tickler, that's your dauber for applying the dye some latex gloves for whatever you want in here and there's a little brush in there that I forgot to get out as well. This is a pair of power swerves I picked up on eBay for like 30 quid. As you can see, battered on the toes. Not in terrible shape, but they have seen much better days <clears throat> and these are gonna look fantastic. And then up next, these Vault Temple Legend 6, one of my favorite boots ever. I need some soft ground boots. Pick these up dirt cheap, but the colorway just isn't me. So I'm gonna do something with these, make them a bit more acceptable. First things first, whenever you're doing something like this, you want to give your boots a good clean, you dirty pigs. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a soft bristle brush, just using some warm water from the tap at first. Going to get off any dirt and grime that I can with that before I go in a bit deeper on the clean. Just popping the tongue out of the way there. If you want, you can take the laces out, wash the laces. Big tip I always recommend we use boots. Take the insoles out, give them a wash as well, because that's where the smell is. As you can see, you're just gently going to brush off any dirt. You can use a dry brush to get off clumped up dirt, stuff like that, if you need to. These aren't too bad in terms of dirt, but it's just kind of a bit stuck in there. And you see straight away, just after cleaning one of the boots, how much better they look. Already looking 10 times better, even before any dye or anything. Amazing what a little clean can do. Just a heads up, I use some of this stuff on them, but if you're using this just to clean your boots, you're an idiot, don't. I'm only using this because I'm using the primer to take off the top coat on the boots anyway. They're getting re-dyed, so it's fine. Obviously, the tempos are just going to get a little clean, but they're not as dirty as the power swerve. So, there we go. As you can see, glistening, stunning. Both pairs sat down here. You can see the toes on there all scuffed up. But even after a clean, they're looking pretty good. Definitely better already. Always shows you what a good clean can do. If you're ever trying to sell a pair of boots, give them a good clean. You'll get more money, make them look better. So, yeah. 
condition overall not as bad as I thought the elastic's a bit loose and then these tempos yeah just the colorway shocking for me step one is the primer so what this does is going to take the top coat off a lot of boots will come whether they're leather or synthetic or whatever they'll have a kind of uh, waterproofing coat in this is some kind of strong solvent that's going to whip it off make sure you're doing this in a well ventilated area don't go huffing them unless you're that way inclined if you want to have a bit of fun you know what i mean if you're a responsible adult uh but yeah basically you take your little wool pads put it on there give them a good rub all over give them a scrub get right in there and then you give them time to dry after this but this is just going to make it so the dye can soak in step two is the dye obviously black it's a blackout box what do you expect i'm going to use the dauber for the big areas and then the brush for the little detail sections as you can see i'm just popping it in there giving it a swizzle you know how it is all about the technique but yeah just going to get in there going to give this a couple of coats all over especially focusing on the toe area on these i'm probably going to do three four coats on the toe letting it dry in between i'm not too bothered with this if i get a bit on the sole plate or anything it's black anyway but obviously you can take as much care as you want once you've done your big areas you can switch to your little brush to kind of do the detail bits and fill in any gaps you can obviously apply something like masking tape around the edges if you're a real perfectionist and you want to make sure you don't get any bits anywhere but i didn't do that for these just because yeah, i'm not that bothered if it was a pair i was going to sell on or something maybe i would uh, and then the tempos i'm just whipping out the laces here because i've got these replacement laces and studs from ryan so i'm going to do a full kind of a full mot upgrade to make these custom as you can see i'm just going all over with the dye on these get rid of as much of that yellow as i can just leaving the kind of heel counter area and the sole plate really want to black these up as much as i can as i think it's going to look so much better obviously it's up to you however you want to black your boots out that's how you do it but for me i'm just going all in here's the little brush like i said i'm just going to tip a bit out into the lid dip it in there kind of go around the edges and touch them up obviously just doing this freehand so it's not going to be perfect i'm not ryan i don't do this every day but you know in general trying to take a little bit of care with them as you you never want to mess them up too bad but as you can see getting in there on the gaps on the power swerves it's perfect for this kind of thing just nice fill in there clean make them you know good to play in but i'm not not bothered about making them absolutely perfect and then after a couple of coats on each pair bang left them to dry look at that obviously i've uh, messed up a few areas got a little bits on here what you can do is take a, a little cotton bud and a bit of the uh, step one the solvent like you can see on the tongue here, got a little bit to take care of and a bit on the fins. You can take a bit of that step one and use that to try and remove some of this dye before you apply your finish if you want to clean them up. So on the power serves, I've got a couple of little areas and then tempos is a bit on the sole plate. So I'll see if that's going to come off now, but you never know. Like I said, if you want to make sure they're absolutely perfect, try putting some masking tape on, etc. So I'm just dipping a little cotton bud in there. Just get a little bit on there so you can tackle the areas carefully. Although, as you can see, it didn't go too well on the sole plate on these on the tongue on them uh, power serves it went a lot better you know took a little bit of time gently going over it and then i'm just snipping off a few little loose bits of thread here on the swerves just little touches like this to make them look you know closer closer to good condition so they're not looking quite as ragged and then step three is the finish the kind of gloss you can see here they've got the dye on but you've got to protect it you've got to make sure it stays on there when you're playing so again take a cotton wool pad apply your gloss one coat two coat whatever you want to do on there just gently all over make sure it's got enough time to soak in etc do a few coats if you want just make sure it's looking nice and shiny this is what's going to give it that lovely finish and of course make sure it stays on when you're playing in your boots especially with the soft ground pair you know if you're wearing them in the wet stuff like that you want to make sure your dye is waterproofed and protected similar kind of stuff to you do back in the day where you get a bit of dubbing on them as you can see, after the uh, finish has dried, they are looking spanking. Lovely, shimmery leather. Lovely and soft. Way, way better than when I started. I wouldn't say they look brand new, but they look cracking. And the tempo colorway, obviously, subjective. But, like I said, I'm going to whack in these laces and these studs. Or at least as many studs as fit. I couldn't actually get all the studs out of the tempo. They're a bit wedged in there. So, didn't quite work, but you can see here, uh, you get the idea. I think these look sick now. The black laces, the black upper, and then that pop of yellow definitely a bit more me than it was before maybe one day i'll get around to changing those studs out fully but i'd definitely say they're an improvement and then the power swerves oh my days look at them they look fantastic now obviously uh not gonna be selling these these are for me they're my size nice little bargain put the time in do them up it's a very rewarding process and you get yourself a banging pair of boots out of it if you want something to wear 
definitely a good idea. Here's just a couple of clips going over so you can see the condition that they're in now compared to where we started with them. Obviously, I would say a big part of it that's underrated is a good deep clean. Get in there, clean them up good. That'll give you a good base to work from in terms of applying the blackout and obviously just things like the fins, a bit like that. You aren't blacking out, but they look so much better now rather than being caked in mud, getting discolored, stuff like that. Here's a little side by side of what they were before compared to where they are now. Wow. Hats off to Ryan. He's done a great job putting this together. Both of these look class now. If you want to do this with your boots, stick around. I'll tell you a little bit more about the blackout kit and how you can do this yourself. So there we have it. Two pairs. One pair absolutely saved from the dead. I'm sure you'll all agree. These power swerves look absolutely banging now. What surprise, they're my size. Maybe these will be next week's boot review. I asked Predator Power Swerve, are they still good? Is there a remake coming next year? Heard it here first. And then these TM Pro Legend 6, of course the studs didn't quite work out the way I planned. But apart from that, rejuvenated, giving them a new colorway, a lot more likely to actually rock these than I was in the full vault colorway. But yeah, awesome. Overall thoughts on the blackout box. Fun, really great fun. You don't have to have a fine art degree like myself to get stuck in. It's a nice little project, uh, quite meditative. If you're not sitting and filming and editing the whole thing, it's quite nice getting there, give your boots a clean, take a couple of days, take your time, do them nice, get them looking good afterwards. You can see why people get into restoring old stuff, it's fun. Really easy to do, well explained, everything's in there that you need. If you mess up the first time, you've got enough to you know, correct your mistakes, stuff like that. So get onto Ryan, boots and pieces, get yourself one of these, got small boots that you want to save. Great, great fun. Obviously, if you can't be asked to do it yourself, you can just send them to Ryan. Get on his website, uh, boots and pieces. You can get your stud conversions on there as well. You can get all sorts, you can get tongue straps added to boots. If I could be bothered, I'd send these power serves off to get a new tongue strap put on them, but I'll just tighten them up for now, playing them. Uh, you know, they're old anyway. Uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff, works for loads of massive pros. He's an awesome guy. I'd say a good friend, good friend that I've made in the boot community. So yeah, go and support him. Also, any boots that you buy from me, from my website, that are in firm ground or AG or whatever, if you want them swapping into studs for the winter, into metal studs, if you go on our website, we have a tab on there for services. You can add a blackout done by Ryan, amazing quality, however you want it doing. Or you can get them stud converted from firm ground, artificial ground, into soft ground. He's the man, he's the best. I use him for everything. So yeah, just want to say awesome. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully, you know, if you want a little gift for someone who's into football, into football boots, this is a great idea. Christmas coming up. Or yeah, if you just want to get stuck in yourself, can't recommend it enough. So yeah, big up Ryan, big up boots and pieces. Can't wait to play in these. You never ever find a Sunday league team to play for on grass. Be breaking these out as well. That's it from me. Thank you so much. Become a season ticket holder. Hit subscribe. Join us. New videos every single week. Reviews, boot news, vlogs, whatever. All kinds of stuff. If there's anything you want to see, let me know in the comments. But for now, that is it. Thank you very much. See you at the next kickoff. Peace. They didn't have that. They wouldn't stay alive. First of all, shout out to Portugal. I sort of fall victim to the worst report.